so you are ready to get your first bike, but you have no idea. Well, maybe you have an idea, but you don't know which bike to get. Uh, which bike is best for your first bike? Uh, this is a question I've gotten asked um, in a couple of my videos, and I have tried to answer them. I kind of give the same answer to to everyone who asks, but I figure I might as well talk about it on video. So, which bike should you get as your first bike? Now, I'm only gonna speak. Sorry, I'm only gonna speak based on my experience. Um, I trained in a 250 when I first got my license, and when my training was done, I decided to buy a Kawasaki Ninja 250. And I rode that bike for about two years, 18 months, two years, and I loved it. I loved every moment, every single moment I got on that thing, because it was so nimble. It was a bike you can throw around because it's so light. And, you know, it wasn't too fast for my own good, and it wasn't too slow either. So, that said, that would be my first choice for anyone who's looking to buy their first bike. I would say, in terms of the engine size of the bike, I would get a 250. And I would go as far as tell you to go for a Ninja 250, because this is a well-known brand, and it's been tested by thousands for the last couple of years. So this is a well-established brand and it's a really good bike. And I know now that Kawasaki and other brands, Honda, they make 300. So if you don't want a 250, go for a 300. They both look almost alike, you know? And you know, the sizes are not that far apart. Uh, but all in all, I would definitely start with a 250. Now, the reasons why I recommend this, one, take this bike that I'm on, for example. This is a Yamaha Striker, and this is a Power Cruiser. This is a much heavier bike. This bike weighs about 650 pounds. You know, that's a long shot from a 250 that is much lighter. And a 250, you know, a lot of things I can do on a 250 I would not be able to do on, on this bike. Yes, this bike is more powerful, but I'm not able to throw it around the same way. And this bike, compared to a smaller bike or a 250, is going to be less forgiving if you were to, you know, make a mistake or make a last minute decision. This bike is going to be less forgiving compared to a 250. So, and this bike definitely consumes more gas. I was getting like 75 miles to the gallon on the Ninja 250. Uh, I'm getting half that with this. So those are things to compare. So I would definitely recommend if you're looking to get your first bike, start low. For me, I rode a 250 for about two years and then I graduated from there and up. So, and I would recommend the same thing. You know, start with a smaller engine bike, you know, build some time and build some experience as a rider, obviously practice some good behavior as a motorcycle rider. And the more you get comfortable riding, then you can step up into bigger bikes. Uh, perhaps a 600. Uh, now you're in the super sports uh, status. And I think if you can ride a 600 good and well, then you should be good from there. After a 600, if you're comfortable riding a 600, uh, you should be able to, you know, get into bigger bikes and bigger engines from there. Okay? But I would definitely start with a smaller bike first and then pick it up after. So, that is my plus two on getting your first bike. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, you know, a 250 would definitely cost you a lot less money um, than, than, say, a bigger bike. And I, this is just my opinion also. I think that a 250 holds its value longer and more. Because I remember when I bought and sold mine, I sold it for maybe a few hundred dollars less. 
than what I pay for it. So they do hold their value longer. Okay, thank you. That was the GPS guy, sorry. So yeah, the 250s, they hold their value longer. Uh, what I assume is that there's more demand for them, uh, for new entry riders. So that's another thing you get. You get a better value, uh, and your bike holds its value longer. So those are those are other things to, to consider. But yeah, that's my two cents on it. Um, I hope you, you get something from that. And again, I would just say don't don't start with a bigger bike. You're better off starting smaller and then building time and going on. Well. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments and please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe if you have not. Again, this is Mike here uh, saying peace. I uh, will catch up with you guys later.